Hi everyone, it's Grace. So today I am going to film a very quick birthday haul. I was actually going to go to bed, but I decided that I would go ahead and film this very quickly. I don't even know if this is going to be uploaded because I can never finish filming something. Oh my gosh. I sure hope this is going to be <laughs> uploaded. But anyways, I do have um, about nine products to show you guys. Yeah, about nine products to show you guys that I got for my birthday, which was only a few weeks ago, um, September the 5th. September's not quite over yet. Um, so I thought it wasn't too late to do this, but um, I will show you guys all the products that I got that are beauty related. I did get more things, you know, of course, that aren't beauty related, but um, I'm going to show you guys the beauty related things. Surprise! It's a beauty channel. Okay, um, so I will go ahead and get started with my skincare things that I got. I actually took one out of the packaging on accident. Um, so the first one that, that I would like to show you is the Innisfree Tone Up Skin, which looks like this. And this is the packaging of the product. Um, this is where the product dispenses from. So basically you would just use a cotton swab to um, use the product. I got this from eBay for about 18 almost $20. I didn't think it was too expensive. It actually would be cheaper if you live in Korea, probably about like around there, um, or like even less, probably like I don't know, I'm not quite sure, but somewhere around there. Um, but you know, I did, I am buying it overseas, so it was a bit pricier. And I also paid for shipping as well, so it did come out to about almost $20. But if you live in Korea, you could probably get it for much cheaper. Um, next, I got the Laneige Water Bank Essence. Like this. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is the packaging of the actual product. It's very pretty. It's a very hygienic glass bottle with um, a pump, which is a really good pump, by the way. It's so easy to control how much product you're about to um, dispense onto the back of your hand. Um, it's not like a hard to use pump which I have experienced in the past with other skincare products. Next, I got a nail polish from Forever 21, and it's in the color Nude, which looks like this. This color, I would describe it probably like a, a beigey peach color in like to the third to the lightest shade that it could possibly be. It's the perfect nude for my skin tone, which is about an NC25. For those of you guys who haven't used MAC products, um, I'm anywhere near like name wise, probably around um, the light beige or um, sand light beige or sand so um for drugstore products those are really common names so around there i really like this i enjoy this i had been on the search for a perfect nude color for my skin tone for the longest time but who knew i would actually find it at forever 21 for only i don't know two dollars and 80 cents which is absolutely amazing compared to your opis or essays that you normally pay anywhere from six to eight dollars for. So the next two products that I'm going to show you are actually brushes from the Bubby collection that um, Bubs Beauty just launched a few weeks ago. Um, and I have the HD Flawless Brush and also the Bubby Brush um, Retractable Brush. This is my favorite brush of all time, literally. I use this all the time. Um, for all my makeup products, or most of my makeup products. It just has so many good uses. This works really well with cream products as well. If you pull it up a little bit, so the brushes will be a bit more dense, so you can pick up product a little better. Um, this, it's kind of like in a paddle form, so it works really good with um, skin finishes um, as well for MAC, um, and just other powders in general. It works really well, it picks up product like a dream. This thing, it's really soft as well. Like, it doesn't get any softer than this. Like, this is like softer than your softest brush that you have in your collection. Like, it's very soft. Um, and the packaging is really good. Um, it's actually quite sturdy. It doesn't feel cheap or anything like that. I am actually doing a review on this right now. I will do a separate review on these two brushes if you would like, but I'll just stop right there. So next is the HD Flawless Brush, and it looks like this. Um, it's angled. The bristles are really nice. It's dense enough for it to um, give really flawless coverage um, and also flimsy enough to be able to blend very easily. 
And these brushes actually weren't that expensive at all. They definitely weren't cheap, but they weren't expensive. Um, they ranged anywhere from about, I think, around $8 to $16 or $17. Um, somewhere around there. But yeah, those are the brushes. And then also, I bought two makeup products. Um, the first product that I got is the MAC Paint Pot in Rubenesque. Which looks like this. It's a very golden, vintagey kind of um, orangey golden color. Vintage orangey golden color. Next, I have the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light Peach that looks like this. This is the box. Um, I got the Light Peach one to counteract my dark spot here, which is. Um, I wouldn't say dramatic or anything like that, but it's kind of like a bluish, purplish kind of um, dark patch that I have there, and this works really well. Um, for those of you guys who ever tried to use this or attempt to kind of like go through with this, you have to use more than one layer. Um, the best way to probably use this is to use it with your fingers or with a brush, um, um, apply it and wait for it to set and then apply another layer to get the full benefit of the light peach color to counteract your blue and um, your green or your purple. Next I forgot to mention, which is also a skincare product, um, I actually got my first eye cream um, and it's the Clinique All About Eyes Eye Cream. I don't know um, if I like this a lot a lot I did use it a couple times um, only because my expectations are so high I actually previously used um, a La Prairie or La Prairie eye cream which is about a hundred dollars um, it's actually not mine it's my mom's it's hers but I just always used it because it worked so well for my skin um, it's a Swedish um, luxury brand um, that's known to do wonders for your skin supposedly but it worked so well for my skin but I wanted to stop using my mom's and get mine um, get one of my own so I chose the Clinique All About Eyes which is a really great all-around um, eye cream um, I would say it's better for younger skin um, only because it doesn't have any anti-aging benefits it's just a very basic kind of moisturizing eye cream but it looks like this very pretty packaging. Then last but not least from Sephora I got a free gift um, and it says happy birthday beautiful on it. It's the um, Philosophy Vanilla Birthday Cake Shampoo Shower and Bubble Bath. Shower Gel and Bubble Bath. I don't know if I'm too, you know, loving the smell, but it smells like cake or cupcakes. It smells, I don't know, I can see a lot of people liking this color, uh, liking this color. I can see a lot of people enjoying this scent. So I've never tried any philosophy like bath products, so I'm excited to try this. So that is the end of my um, little birthday haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I will see you guys very, very soon before I leave to college.